So here I am, just a, just a touch away from being level 102, but there's something special about being level 101 in my opinion, a little, little link to uh, Fallout 3 there. But obviously we have to move on, we have to keep leveling, we have to keep doing things. So, how have I gotten up this many levels for the most part? I mean, yes, there was a lot of shooting of things and whatnot. Is everybody there a party? Pool party? Everybody's hanging at the pool party. Some kind of scripting thing where no one can go up the stairs? I don't know. I gave them one long stairway to go up. But I've been doing some other things too here. Like, for instance. Check it out. Greenhouse. And if you get the uh, the Lover's Embrace perk first, um, you get a lot of XP doing this, just throwing down tons of food. That means some of it, some of it's actually being farmed. I did do some assignments. And I know what you're saying, Black Knight, well that's a great thing, but what happens when nothing more can be built? Well, I know I've covered this in other videos, but just in case you haven't seen those videos, no, I don't need to store the door in the water shop. Let me show you how kind of some of this works. Oh, look. Hey, Deidre. You're still alive. That's good. You go to your workshop. Workshop. Oh, I thought I had to do the transfer. Go to your workshop. Get all of your wonderful weapons that you have here. Try not to pick up anything that's too small. Because that can make things annoying. And that will actually drop as a single thing, which is a little bit annoying. You won't get the knuckles with the laser pistol. Laser rifle. A couple machetes. Missile launcher is good. Any of these really long-named weapons, they work really well. Power fist is a good one. That's nice and complicated. Stuff with really complicated models works great. Now, I have a, a certain place I like to go. Pretty much all of my companions that I have unlocked are here. Yeah, let us go. Where's the best place? Which is the, the best Hi, path up here? Last time. Okay. As you can see, I've got you know some ladders here. It's a little bit complicated. I can never remember exactly where I've done it. But this is a place where I can drop stuff. Let's turn the light on a little bit so we can see better and not really lose it. So we call this up, go into our inventory, and basically drop all of our weapons. I try not to drop. I shouldn't have dropped those grenades. But I try not to drop the stuff that I'm going to be really fond of in case for some reason it's it gets lost. I have to give that a better name so I don't accidentally use it. I think if I do drop one... See, if you drop all nine, they come up as one model. But if you get it down below six, then you can drop one at a time. And they'll all be out there, and that helps more. No, we don't need to do that. No. Yes, 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 yes. Ba -doop, doop, doop, doop. I'm not gonna drop the Overseer's Guardian. That's another must keep. Pretty much everything else. Yeah, we'll just drop. Yeah. You know, it was different for the Flamers. They're a com more complicated model, but we'll just do this. I don't want to take forever with it either. Kaboom! That always looks so cool. Now, whoa! We, we stuck a couple right in the thing. I love Bethesda games. Okay, now as you can see, size is maxed out and nothing more can be built. But if I select one of these, store it in the workshop, now things can be built. 50 caliber sniper. I am stored in the workbench. And you just do this, and it's a little bit tedious. See what's happening to the size of my settlement? For whatever reason, it thinks 
that each one of these things is part of the settlement when you drop it, and when you store it in the workshop, it gives you space. And there you have it. We have a nice clean floor. Oh, we missed a board. I'm going to just look around and see if there's anything that you've missed. That's why I try not to drop anything really special. But now, as you can see, I've got a third of my uh, my size back. I mean, we can really do a lot with that. And you can you can rinse, lather, repeat here. You can keep doing that until uh, until you have a completely empty size bar, and you can just go crazy. Now, I believe that this will be affected by you know what hardware you're running. If you if you have a system that's maybe not as powerful as as another system, you know, I'd, I'd be very careful with this with consoles. Um, you can eventually build a, something that's too big for what the hardware can handle, and then you'll start having problems. And I haven't seen any of those problems yet. It's not, you know, I'm doing this on a PC. But, you know, th that's a possibility. I mean, the reason that size limitation was put in was almost certainly to keep, you know, hardware issues from becoming a problem. So, I think it's a, kind of a thing to nowhere. Um... But I kind of like that stuff. You, I, you guys know my, my style of building is very, you know, MC Escher. No, that can't possibly work. Let's see. So, now the thing to do is if you want to continue building. Let's see. Let's take a look here. Okay, I've got two available floors at least in this structure. I've found two of them. And I'm thinking one of them I was going to turn into a kind of a restaurant happiness building kind of area. And another one I was going to turn into another dorm. So that, because I have, if you look at my stats here, let's go find it. I've got 60 beds and 35 people, but I'm planning on continuing to send people here because you can still, you can, you can get above the max uh, level for people. Uh, when you run into settlers out in the wild, usually after uh, you, know, you hunt some uh, some roaming robots out there, if you, you know some of the uh, the renegade robot missions will give you a, so you can meet a settler and you can talk to him and say, hey, why don't you go to my settlement? And so you can really overload settlements that way. And this is gonna be the one I I send people to. So let's let's do this. First of all, you're gonna want to take a nap, especially if you have a romanced. Look at that, three floors. Ooh, we got, we got lots of potential here. So much potential. If we have three floors, then you know what we'll probably do? We'll probably actually... We owe you one. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, we can go... Is there a bed in here? Yeah, there's beds here. This is close enough. Yeah, sleep for an hour. I think I might have pulled a muscle or something. Ah, we get the lover's embrace from Kate. How you doing, Kate? Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of caps. That's true. But now I've got the lover's embrace perk, which means that I can do some things. Now, let's go back down here. Okay, here's our last uh, greenhouse. Let's put another one up. Let's see, where do we want to go? We go up a floor above it? I think so. Greenhouses are nice, especially when you're trying to uh, show how to level stuff. Oh, where's the ladder up? I do put a little too much whimsy into my design. Do I do it here? I want to go to the level above. This, I think, might be the, the restaurant. Thank heavens for exit saves, I think. Let's see, where, where are we? When, when did it last save? Um, let's see, let's do this. What's the size of... Okay, so we don't have to do that all over again. <laughs> yeah, just as I said, I've never had any trouble with, you know, doing this, it, it, it crashes right out. Okay, so, let us continue. There was this floor, now which floor was this again? Okay, this is the floor just uh, a, just above. I think we could probably watch this. If I do enter select. See, that's the floor just above where all the lights are and stuff down there in the, in the other uh, greenhouse. 
So let's just do that. So let's stack a greenhouse on top of a greenhouse, shall we? I say, where are we headed? And I think we still have the bonus from the uh, from the snuggle session. There, let's see. The generators we need to go to lights. And the reason I'm doing this is this is going to probably level up my character. And going from the the vaunted 101 status. The big one here. Fluorescent wall light. Okay, that just hangs on that. I see. So we want the ceiling light. As you can see, we have a lot of materials. I can I can show you again if you want how uh, to end up with just massive amounts of materials. Yep, eight experience every time you click one. And since we're making a greenhouse, we need a lot of them. The power has already been laid in around everything. I've got power pylons all over this thing. Ah, there we are, 102. And we'll, we'll deal with the, the extra skill point. Maybe this video, we'll see if I remember. I have a tendency of just piling up skill points until I, I actually have a, a legitimate need for them. Hey, this is a pretty quick way of leveling. Unfortunately, you've got this interesting mix of kind of interesting music going on, which, watch, my luck, I'll be like, oh, you know, that's classical music and you're, uh, Demonetize. That's how that'll play out. I think it's the floor above is where the music's coming from. But it is mixed with the natural background music of Fallout 4, which I don't think we can be demonetized for. Are you getting the gist of how fast you can just rack up XP? I mean, I'm obviously at a very high level, so this probably isn't not like I'm going to level up completely just doing this room. Come on, let's all... No, it's all crooked. Just the last few lights. i got to get more lights. And it'll be less like, eh. How many plants are we going to put right on the, against the wall anyway, right? Come on. Yep. Can we do the time warp again? See how fast we can do this. Speed run. Oh, it's getting messy. All right, we can't see. You can you can rank up quickly doing this, and then of course you know just fix the tab it back. You won't get any points for putting these in the right place, but that was a mistake. Okay, I know it looks like I kind of just drifted off to the side here by accident uh, by not walking backwards in a straight line, but instead I got to get more coverage, or at least I got two rows of coverage here from one row of lights, right? No, that's, no, no, that's complete crap. But I did make a nice V here, which, who doesn't love the letter V? Okay there, are you happy now? Is that better? Is that a better thing here? It looks like we got enough light going. Okay, let's ignore for a minute that, like, the really patently obvious fact that you couldn't craft fluorescent lights out of just bits of glass and metal. It's certainly not this many. And certainly I couldn't stop pile enough resources to really do that, except for the trick that I use that everybody uses, and we'll talk about that in a little while. In real life, no, this ain't happening. For right now, let's just try and create cool things. Let us magically create... Oh, I don't think we'll need 18,000 of them. 11,000. 11,800. My eyes jumped to there. Get some garden plots down here by these lights. Okay, now we've got some dirt in place. See? Wonderful dirt here. Now... Let's, let's, let's just take a walk upstairs for a moment. 
just up the next level. Where are we at here? There it is. Alright, flashlight on. Okay, we don't really need that right now. Go up here. So maybe we have to go one down. Is it one down? Not two down. Not three doors down. Man, there you go. I could really use a cigarette. Okay. Not ready to be harvested. Yeah. Oh, well, I was hoping to get some more potatoes or razor grain or something like that. Just because there's certain things that I'm kind of low on, whereas I have lots of mud fruits and stuff like that. Tons of carrots. Access to grind. Hell, I have a ton of them. Let's see. We'll, we'll get stylish here. is so resilient to cling to life is right been too long since I picked fight is the duty of us all to further that survival all right we're back I so. kill for a drink and to think of it I have see we can do 2,000 carrots 487 corn a whole bunch of gourds that we can't do I have 363 mud fruits there I don't know those yeah we got nothing Ah, oh, help defend Oberlin Station. All right, hold on. I'm busy planting corn. All right, you want you want to take a break and we'll, we'll go defend Oberlin Station. Just get a couple corns in. Fine. Let's go do that. Oberlin Station needs defending, and pretty much all that we have to do we show up. All right. There's the dog. Hi, dog. Dog meet the dog. He's a doggy. Good dog. Doggity dog dog. Dog. Huh? Come back here, damn it! You're dead. Did we get him all? It doesn't appear like we did. Well, that's one of the things. When you when you do that, you have to reselect your weapon of choice. It should tell me I've successfully defended Oberlin Station at some point. Did I miss that? Was it too quick? Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. I run this place here. What are you... Yeah? Huh? Do you have anything but carrots in there? Huh? Just... If you, you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Potatoes! Seems to be growing well. We can plant some potatoes. I'm taking Don't all their potatoes. Can't talk now. Yes? So many potatoes. Huh? Oh, fine. There they are. Should have just run. Up oh, there we go. <laughs> we can't even find a dead body that blasts him so far away. Let's get something back here. Well, we got some potatoes out of that, I guess. Did we even see any kind of lootable corpuses? Word spreading all over the Commonwealth. The minute men are back. They yep. set up a radio station to coordinate yep. their there efforts. No kidding. Well, I Army fatigues are good because good you can mod them. We need them. Definitely. There's like one gunner? You called me out here for one gunner? Ah. One gunner? Alright, let's head back. Gotta love that fast travel. 
Oh, you know what we'll do? Let's do this. No, 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 no. Do the thing with the. Aha. Uh -huh. Go back to the castle momentarily, and then I can show you the trick to how you can have all the, the money and caps and junk your heart desires. Ah, see, I'm here. This razor. This is my personal razor. Why has this not been cultivated? I assigned someone just to this. Got potatoes. Maybe it's gone into the. Gone into this. He's been harvested already? Into, the, into stores? Okay! And a little bit of interim here. There's a couple things going on. Can we get more of this? Hey, we can harvest more razor grain. It's growing good. well. What I've done is I had a couple razor grains in here, as you will recall, that were not being harvested by anybody, so I've actually, uh, actually stored them in the workshop. Because, insanity, that's just what this whole world is. And uh, the reason we're at the castle, actually, initially, other than me getting some razor grain, actually I purchased some razor grain, too, is to show you the secret of my success. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you guys see that? Those... Okay, we can we can hop down here. That's... Um... Those... Are the same as those? Am I wrong? Industrial. Only oh, yeah, that's a smaller one. I thought it was like a scale thing that was going wrong there. Okay, my bad. But anyway, this is the whole secret of my success thing. You see all this here? If you look up at the top here, water is well over a thousand, and I think we could actually we might be able to call it up in the data. Where the heck is it? Stats. There we go. You know, workshops. Let's go down to the castle. Yeah, water is over fourteen hundred. Right there. So, what happens? What that means? And we have to we have to fast travel back to the castle. To the castle, Padoop. Come on. Oh, it's, we have to go to map. I know I'm being clunky here, but we're just going to fast travel to the top like we're just floating. Imagine just floating up to the top of the hill here. To the top of the wall. Dash away, dash away, dash away all. If it ever loads. Let's do the time warp again. Okay, here we have the workshop. If we go to transfer every so often over here in aid... Other than all these carrot corn girds. You see all this purified water? Well, that is very, very lucrative. So now, if we go to... Let's pick up some more. We'll go to... Not the work homestead. No, that's an unhappy place. Let us go to uh, Norhagden Beach. Norhagden Beach. As if there is a happy place around here, right? Happy, hap, happy. We got 300... 58 purified water here. As you can see, again, a lot of water purifiers. I have a whole bunch of them at the castle. I have a whole bunch of them at Sanctuary. I mean, there's there's bunches of them all over the place. And whatever excess water you get ends up in that workshop. So now, we could go to, say, Spectacle Island. Spectacle Island has a whole bunch of them, too. We run through the decontamination arch there. Yeah, here we go to transfer. Go to aid. Another thousand water there, and you can see, I think how useful this would be. That's so weird. I, I went to click on Riley and she disappeared. Like, mew! like just folded out of existence, and I didn't catch it on video. Ah, oh, sea spray. He must be based out of here. Oh, there she is. She's teleported herself to a bed. Well, let's just take a nap. Now you will see the value of the water. And I've, I've done videos on this before, but I'm just figuring I catch everybody up in one big video here. How you Look can make this work. Yeah. Sure. Let me show you what I've got. Okay, Trader Riley, weapons, miscellaneous, junk. This is the junk is where it's all at. See, this is what you use to build your settlement. And we're taking all of it. We're cleaning out her junk. And the, the nice part about her is I believe she has a good number of shipments, too. 
Please don't make a layer on me here. Badly. Ah, here we go. Ceramic, concrete, copper, rubber, steel, wood. All kinds of things that we need lots of. I know what you're saying. Uh, this Black Knight, this is getting expensive. But watch this. Okay. I'll pay you, but only in water. Look at that. See, I've got 38,000 caps worth of water. So we just dialed that back to 15 some, and actually 16. We could cash out her caps. Let me go 16. There we go. That's close. We don't, we don't want to make her broke. I mean, I'm just not, not cruel. Now we can flash our way over to the Mechanist, because the Mechanist has some good stuff to sell you, usually. Wow. Well, let's check on how populated the robot uh, situation is over there. Yeah, I'm gonna rabbit punch. Rabbit punch. Boof, boof. Yeah. Boof. Ah. Yes, hit you. Boof. Wow, as you can see, this is just a trading center. Hopefully we don't end up getting a... Hey. Looks like a large group of bots traveling together. Not to be taken lightly. Oh, a mission. Okay, we better go do that real quick. Be careful out there. With some of the modifications I added, the bots can be a little dangerous. You think? Mind if we trade a few things? Sure. And we'll take all her junk. Man, this is an, an, another complication. I hadn't really planned on blasting anything during this video because, you know, they're getting so, uh, so sensitive on YouTube. Uh, here, you need water. This way at least you don't have to go out. Get some, where's my aid? So that's 8,000, so uh, you figure 9,300? Should be about right. Do, 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 to make her nice and broke. Yeah, that's good. Make me wealthy. Okay, now we got to quickly. Where the heck is that gun? Okay, over all the way over here by the relay tower. Let's fast travel there. I, think I got the overseer's guardian loaded. So we might want to switch back to the explosive gun. I need a name for that. I think I'm thinking something based on moonlighting. Maybe the moonlighter. Because, of course, my character is named after Bruce Willis's uh, character in uh, in Moonlighting. Which I'm definitely showing my age there. But We want to do this pretty quickly because we want to see if we can save any, um, any of the uh, potential settlers who might be here. I can't run very well because I'm loaded down. That's a complication. Did we get them all? Yep. Okay, we get stuff. What's fighting me? What the heck? Alright, let my dog eat that dog. But who the heck shot the rocket? Who shot the missile? Sentry head, that's good. This is pretty grim. Come on, they have to be line of sight. Who's shooting? Who shot at me? Was it a friend? It's a real mech scrap bot. Do you see any any friendlies around? Not a dog of a baby rattle. That's just freaky. A couple of wild mongrels. Well, he came into the right place. I mean, they were right here. But where the heck did we find some more tank bot? There's something lit up. Did we, did we get everything? I think, I think that's all the scrap. 
Oh, do we have any, um... These things always go after settlers. Really, sometimes go after settlers. And if we could find the settler... Oh, here we go. Never expected the Minutemen would be capable of taking out the Institute. Ah, Brotherhood. The Minutemen took down the Institute? They're more resourceful than I thought. So that explains the rocket. <laughs> We have no random settlers around here. All right, but before we find anything else unpleasant, let us get back to Diamond City. Should have hit the marketplace itself, but close enough. Put the gun away here and we'll trudge our way in. Is there anybody awake? She looks just like yeah. The all right, we will be able to. We're always open. We sell everything: skin packs, ammunition, outerwear, dinnerware. I'll take a look. Sure. Excellent. And I think you can see this is a, a case of rinse, lather, repeat. Really, I mean, you can get whatever stuff you need. Let's see. Let's go. Weapons. Do we have anything interesting? Not really. Apparel. Sometimes you know, they'll come up with something cool here. Aid. Um, let's see. It's tough to look for. I like whiskey. You need stem packs periodically. Nuka Cola Quantum, just for collectors kind of stuff. Some nukas. I like just put them on my desks. Rad away and Rad X. Miscellaneous. That's a good. Take all of his junk. At some point, one of these guys is going to come out with a profit because I'll run out of water. Look at all these shipments. Ammo. Let's see. Do we need 38 rounds? Do we have any shot? We need shotgun rounds. 42 shotgun rounds. And a, need some gamma rounds and a fusion core. Definitely fusion cells. It's, uh, not that I've been using it as of late, but I, I just completely mumbled that, by the way. That was a complete mumbulation. Go to my aid. We go down to the purified water. And we're still coming out ahead. I think I think we've got enough here that we could say, you know, we we proved a point. Um here, we'll take a couple missiles from you. There, now it's close. Okay, we'll take a missile. Alright, that's close enough for jazz. Let's let's go back to the slot. This time we talked, I no, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you. The last time we talked, to this, to that, whatever. Yeah. What floor were we working on? Was it? No, no, no. <gasps> oh, that hurt. That hurt. I should probably go take another nap. What floor were we working on? Was it this one? By the way, try not to fall off the building when you're doing this. It's this is the one. This is the place. And as you can see, I've got six razor grain to play with now. We're going to plant those. Razor grain is one, one of those things where I don't have a lot of it. So that's a priority. Melon. Melon's another kind of cool thing to have because who doesn't love melon, really? I mean. It's just, I hope it tastes good in the irradiated future. You know, it's... Hopefully we don't have an irradiated future. Let's be honest, folks. This is completely nonsensical, this game. Look at the magic melons. They just appear. They just, you know, you just spin around. Boom! You got melons. You only got three more melons to work with here. So we'll melon up. We don't get melanoma. No, that's not how that works. It's okay. Gourds. We got a bunch of gourds. We could put some gourds down because they're near the melons. And they'll, they'll, they'll be aesthetically pleasing. Not sure what use gourds will have. I guess if you're hungry enough, you'll eat a gourd. That's it. It's only one gourd per... Fine. Let's see. Where's the tatoes? Because I know I tatoes were something that I was semi-low on. But I did a bunch of... Uh, wow, you really can't... Gourds take up a lot of space. Potatoes weren't at the top of the list. I mean, as far as stuff, we can carrots are the number one thing I got going all over the place. Okay, we got three, all right, three potatoes. 
And that's something you want to consider too, is, you know, density. You could probably, you know, some things you can get four food items on, some you can get one. But I mean, some of those food items might only, uh, you know, might be necessary for certain recipes. Right now, as you can see, what I'm trying to show you is how fast you can level this thing here. Potatoes everywhere. We love our potatoes. I do love potatoes. I mean, I don't, maybe that's a... Is anybody out there who doesn't love potatoes in every way, shape, and form? I mean, you know, that's that's one of those things that we could probably unify society around. Everybody loves potatoes. And if everybody can love potatoes, then can't we love each other? That's something that we should all start to consider. This is These are going to be potatoes of love. Lovely potatoes. Of course, I should I should reference the whole Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy thing, which, if you you can quote it as saying there's you can't solve all your problems with potatoes, and then there was a whole long story that went with that. But the idea at that point was there was a very violent society that decided you know maybe they could solve all their problems by punching a bunch of like a bag full of potatoes at the end of every day. And then everybody thought, well, gee, wouldn't it be just easier to shoot the potatoes? And then they thought, hey, let's shoot all kinds of things, and things went rapidly south from there. Douglas Adams, folks, you gotta check it out. Hunt fruit, potato, gourd. Now, I'm not overly concerned about assigning this food just yet, because I may not even have the settlers to do that. What's this guy doing? Unassigned! Guess what, good sir? You are in luck. Your boredom is over. Okay. Now, as I recall, as long as I assign him to food, he should auto-assign himself to other things. He should take... But more to the point, other than having, like, a really cool room with a lot of food in it here, check out our stats. We're at level, we start, We just at the start of this video turned from level 101 to level 102. And now we're a third, quarter, at least a quarter. You see it's between a quarter and a third of the way up the thing. So you do this a little bit. It's a very fast way to level. And if you're at a lower level than level 102, um, this you, you may have leveled a couple times already there. I, obviously at level 102, it's harder to get this far up the bar. And uh, ooh, we, can, we, can, we can level up a perk here. Let's do that. Where's the dog? Yeah, we can... I don't think we can max out attack dog, but we can, uh... Yeah, we'll confirm selection. Get that doggy going. So that's... Well, if there's anything Dude. Are we it's heading out? No. A truck stop just so that my companions would stop interrupting me. But, as you can see, and dog, he's such a good dog, he doesn't interrupt. So as you can see from this video, um, you can almost live a normal kind of life, just building and farming. Yes, it's magical building and farming, but it's building and farming and, and, and purifying water. You know, basically, I'm a water businessman and a construction magnate. Just, you know, trying to, to eke out a life here in the post-apocalyptic and really, really inaccurate world. <laughs> of Fallout 4. I, I don't want it to be accurate, don't get me wrong. This is far more fun. The main thing is the gameplay is a lot of fun and, you know, but it's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just fun is what it is. Look, you got floating dogs. What can be better than dogs that fly? I, yeah, or have really, really, really strong front paws, right? And if you want to know the numbers, check this out. Just from this video, building up that room, and admittedly shooting some things. Um, we're almost... Well, we're not halfway there. Would you call that a quarter? I think it's more than a quarter. Maybe not quite a third. But, I mean, that's a lot of XP. Because I'm at level 102. It takes a long time to fill that bar once you get to level 102. So, if you're at a lower level, this is definite. And you just want to build yourself up. And you don't want to deal with a lot of enemies. Get yourself some water purifiers. You need to anyway. And uh, start making some money. Start just traveling to the safe places. Yes, you'll have to do some exploration. Yes, you'll have to get them on your map. Yes, you'll have... But you can at least get the vendors in Diamond City to work with. And you can start with Sanctuary. If Sanctuary, if you can put it... Here, let's go take a walk over and look at the water. 
See, we got lots of water capability here at Sanctuary. You could get yourself off to a really nice start. And uh, what the heck got... You know, pack Brahmin. Something bad happened there. Why would a Pack Brahmin be glowing silver? Okay. Let's follow it. That's one. So there's definitely a lot you can do here just building and using the techniques in this video. I've shown you how to how to make money with water, how to reduce the size of your settlements by, you know, using weapons and the, and the workshop. I think this is pretty comprehensive how you can make yourself plenty wealthy here in the... What the heck is down there? That looks like some kind of robot. No, it's just junk of some nature. Yeah, okay. Well, here we are down in the water. Can we get out of the water? It's, it's hot. Oh, that's true. I have the aqua boy for it, so it doesn't bother me. That's, you, 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 think, you know, a question just occurred to me. It's not one that we can really adequately explore here, but if the Brotherhood of Steel have access to Project Purity, and now they've come here, why aren't they implementing that technology and giving clean, fresh water all over? The common one. Anyway, that, I'm getting sidetracked. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been useful to you. And uh, on this note, this is, yeah, not a really strong ending. I'm trying to come up with a little punchline, but this was kind of a nice functional sort of, uh, sort of a video. You know, it's like, hey, here's how you do some of this cool stuff. If you need to make yourself money and need to build up your salvage and you want things to look cool, that's how you do it. This is the Black Knight. Have a great night.